<laughs> Good morning, party people. <laughs> Welcome to the breakdown. You've got to cough the, at yeah, every Yeah, you've got to give it that. You know, I want to get the right tone for you people. I should not do any singing because I As am, a vocalist. As a vocalist, I'm going to look really fucking terrible because we're about to get into some smooth shit with Bruno Mars and Anderson Park, Silk Sonic are back. Yeah, this is the new track, Smoking Out the Window. We checked out the first two releases from these guys. And we're metalheads, but hot damn can we get down with a bit of crooning. And these guys have just made, like, just so much fun when it comes to, like, r and It's just so... It is just so pleasant and fun and happy. It's just massive vibes listening to this stuff. r is my least played genre. It's my least favourite genre. And I can't love this anymore. You know what? I think that it's the the... Progression of where R&B started, you know, when you look at things like, obviously Michael Jackson was more pop, but when you look at things like um, Michael Jackson and Prince and, you know, uh, all those sorts of groups, and then you you come forward to where it is now, it, it lost a lot of that. Obviously, you've still got artists like The Weeknd who yeah. have that vibe, but I think Bruno Mars and Anderson Park have really brought back that original sort of Motown fun vibe. Motown hip-hop R&B pop mix. Um, and it's just done so well. Incredible musicians, incredible musicianship, and just they just sound so great together. It also is fun. It's, it's so fun, fun music, which it's I'm, so fun, and I love having fun. So if you guys want to like and subscribe, uh, check out more of our videos because we do like to have fun on this channel. We do have a lot of fun. Hey, not all metalheads are angry, except Nath when I make lots of stupid jokes. He's a dickhead though. If you guys want to check out our merch too, do you like Beavis and Butt? Do you like phone cases? Oh, do you? That's, yeah, that shows you fun. Fun vibes. Just yep. the good morning party, people. Seven out good vibes. I'm hoping for a bit of a woe woe with this, too, because we love oh, a woe woe. Give us some smooth woes, baby. A three, two, one. Wait a minute. This love started off so tender, so sweet. Mm. Well, now she got me smoking out the window. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Must have spent 35, 45,000 up in Tiffany. How's the wide lapel smoking jacket in the... Oh, man, they're good. Instant goosebumps when his voice comes in. I love his voice so much. Uh, also, if you've never been here before, we do pause the video quite a bit, and that is to avoid copyright. But if you're here watching us to see this, you've no doubt already seen this, so just chill. <laughs> chill, man. That bass, bro. Smoking is bad, don't do it. Them moves, get the fuck out of this town, but don't, because you're welcome in my town, because the shit's sick. The this song has a lot less downtime than some of the others. There's less breaks in it, like to look for a pausing moment here. Yeah, for sure. Um, in the musical, the yeah, musical, the musicality of it. Uh, really fun. I, I talked in the jackets before, but look at like the, the stripe down the side of the trousers here. They've got like proper like suede chocolate tuxes on. Oh, dude, like I'm not much of a fashion guy per se, but. I know when the aesthetic is on, and the aesthetic is, is on. on fire. Yeah. Oh! Hercules! Hercules! Oh, Hercules! 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 Committing.
Oh shit, son! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I can't pause on that one. Um, vocal harmonies are just absolutely on point on this. They're just really, really like, just they work off each other so well, like, as well. So everything is harmonized so beautifully and perfectly. I'm gonna be honest. One thing that I am semi missing that I really love about the vibe of their other stuff and Anderson Park in general is seeing him on the kit. Yeah, uh, okay. just because he has that swagger and that style while he's playing, um, he's got that real cool jazzy groove about his playing. But when he's singing and he's animated and you know pulling all these cool facials to the camera and stuff, it's just like next level. It's really cool. He's a lot more at the forefront of the vocals of this one. The other one, he did yeah. a lot more kind of really cool backing vocals. He had his own lines in there, mm -hmm. but this one, he's as much at the front as Bruno is. Yeah, I don't know if necessarily he could do that while drumming. I'm not saying he's not talented enough, but I mean, drumming and singing at the same time is hard enough as is, let alone yeah, fronting sure. it. Um, love the way they've hit this little change in tempo register here and the color dynamics change. It's changed as well, I was going to say that. Very yeah. cool. Oh, what a strong finish. Yes, sir. I hope that trifling B word, as they referred to her, them, um, really feels like they did the wrong thing through the majesty of brilliant song. That trifling B word. Yes. Well done. Yes. Keep it a classy. <laughs> you fuck with. Um, <laughs> that was sick. As you said, that, that, these guys can do no wrong in my eyes so far this is just something that yeah. the world kind of and the world of music needs it is you touched on it you've got like bands or artists like the weekend that are still really doing that pop r&b thing so well but yeah. this is that playful fun playful throwback yeah but with the new age production and man like i know that you can't really live in the past with music we say this all the time with the production. watch me early emo 2000s yeah but like you know yeah that, exactly right like we love the progression of music like as metalheads we love seeing the genre be pushed and them incorporate new styles and stuff but man when you hear a band that comes back and they do say do that that you know early metallica throwback or like we heard with orbit culture or the the early 2000s emo throwback it's like oh man that's actually quite refreshing yeah and i think this is what r&b needs i think it needs that throwback i think it needs that rejuvenation of where it came from and how much it has influenced these artists because i know anderson park you'd notice it but a lot of the current r&b artists you wouldn't really hear any of those influences not as much i do think the visualizer that comes with this band i can call it silk sonic the the band and the having those real retro outfitted same within the film clips it does allow you to be immersed and thrown back if they did sure. have that it was just them in a regular film clip something like new like uh what was the new weekend song we did recently uh take my breath yeah was that, that one, one? Yeah, yeah was real future and like the bright lights and really clean yeah that wouldn't work in the same way with this music no 100%. so i think that they've really committed to the look and the feel of it which works so so well it is yeah. an entire experience imagine that live man oh dude How like fun and, would that and be? you know what you know that they would they would translate this as well as they could live you'd Absolutely. get that whole experience yeah um but like you touched on with the color schemes that they use um like you've got all those browns and tans like and, yeah, and the reds colors. yeah yeah all those warm colors and they've kept that basically um sort of uniform the whole way through like even though the last one was it skate go skate yeah it was uh it was shot outside but it was the same sort of Still thing the same color and scheme, it all yeah. ties in look just like you said playful and just vibes man like it's just super happy and i think it's a really really good injection of playful fun and positivity if that song wasn't really 
positive lyrically. Like yeah. Trifling B word, I tell ya, mate, Jesus. Um, Story of Johnny's life. What did you guys think of the song? <laughs> if you're new to the channel, thanks for checking it out with us. For those that have been with us for a while, our metalheads out there, can you dig it? Yes, we can. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. I don't like that screaming <laughs> stuff. Why did they ruin it? Unsubscribe, unlike, fuck you.